All right, we are back with another Create 5M framework. This time, we're going to be working in our JavaScript for our elements. And we're just going to make sure that we get our uh, notifications working, basically. So a couple things in here. Um, we're going to have a... We'll just see what we can do here. So inside of here... Let's just see, this looks all good. Okay, so we're using var data equals event dot data, okay. So a couple things, we could just hide sort of all this other stuff um, as this is not gonna be for notifications, but instead we're gonna have our uh, noties down here. So this is gonna be our notifications. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna have to go to our client UI and we put UI as false. Um, let's see if this is true. I guess this is fine, right? Because we have run nodey true here. So this is gonna be what we're gonna be looking for right here, is the run nodey. So we could do if uh, data dot, we're using data, right? Data dot run nodey. Uh, this equals to true. So if this equals to true, what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do a var message equals, and this is where we're gonna have to go back into our client, uh, and we called it text, text sent, which is good. So text, just like here, we're gonna do this, equals to our data, or I guess event, no, data. No, I'm fucking, I'm fucking up, item. This is the item, item.text. And then we got our timer. So our timer, which is gonna equal to our, let's go back, time. Which is gonna be item.time. Uh, of our elements in here, uh, which we're not going to set to anything yet. Uh, starting off, we're going to do dollar sign, and this is for colors now. So we're going to have a we have our three ways of colors: so blue, green, red, uh, that we need to change in and out from. Um, and how we're going to call it is we're going to do hashtag color. Um, which I believe is what we called, called it in here, right? Let me double check to see what we called it. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Color equals CLR. Yeah. So color plus item dot color. And then it's going to be a dot CSS and it's going to change the display, uh, which we're going to set to none, none as default. And then inside, we're going to do a couple things. So if item dot color equals equals to one. So if it equals to one, this is going to be our blue color. We're going to want element element to equal Oops, dollar sign, this. We're gonna have the div ID in here. Uh, we're gonna set this to equal to color. Oops, gotta use the other quotes, my bad. So div ID color. And then, it's like this, div ID color plus item dot color. Plus, this is where we requote into here. Let me just do this. Oops. And it's going to equal to class. Oops, class equals. Uh, and then we're going to go into our CSS. And this is the classes that we're basically uh, sort of going to be calling here. Uh, but it's this. So we're going to call this class right here. So class equals, um, yeah, 
nodi.bg and then this would obviously be blue so we're going to do space blue here uh, and then we're going to set style uh, equals oops, equals display colon none and then close that off close this off plus uh what we call the message here plus and then we're going to close off uh this div statement so we're going to do div just like this div and then close it off so we could basically copy this now because we're going to have a couple of uh of these so we have this first if uh in here we can do an else if uh else if uh do, 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 item dot color equals equals to two uh say we want two to be red uh we just change this to red and then we could do a else if item dot color equal equals to three uh which we would have to be our green so we could change this to green just like so um and obviously if defaulted it's going to set it to one i believe that's how we have it yes so clr equals one just like that so that's gonna that's gonna do all that uh then we're out of this so we're completely done with all the colors the message and the timer um so now we got to do it to display it so dollar sign uh and this is going to be our our wrap div so we're gonna call this so dollar sign uh did i do dot anywhere no we're good dollar sign dot wrap div and then prepend element so we're gonna grab that element and then we're gonna do a element dot fade in because we're gonna want it to fade in here um good fade in number uh usually is around 500 to a thousand um i yeah let's do five maybe 600 so it's a nice clean fade uh and then what we're going to do here is going to set a timeout so whoops don't need dot this we can just set timeout and then function in here close brackets open like this uh, inside we're going to do dollar sign element oops, element and then we're going to do dot fade out so this is what it is going to last basically for the whole timer of the duration that we're going to grab here so we're going to have to do a little math in here but that is perfectly fine so we're going to have our fade in or fade timer um which we set our fade timer I got oh fade timer would be I just our just our timer in general. So our timer in general, uh minus so we're gonna subtract that from fade or from timer, divide by two. And do, 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 yes. So then we can close that off. So what we're doing here is we're gonna divide this timer by two and then subtract and it will get us our fade out. And then we can close this off. But first, then we'll do timer in here. So we grab that and then we close it off just like so. Um, I think we got to close off the window as well. I believe so. And close off this one as well. And this should be all. Uh, next would be getting into our game, but first let's register a command called test uh, function uh, color. Uh, we don't even need color. We just need message. So args. Args, and let's just put raw in there for raw command. And then we end. And then what we're going to do here is open our nodi. Uh, let's just set it to one 
Uh, let's just set it to a base message of test loser and set the time to short. And just like that, we should be working. Server is up. We just got to open 5M here. Make sure this is still recording. Yes, it is. Man, I have not played 5M for a while, but that is okay. Little updates, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Load me in, Chief. Well, that's just unfortunate. Um, wow. Well, we might not be able to test. We're going to try it again. I'm not going to try to fix this, the and then come back. This is meant to be more raw. Um, if this doesn't, what the hell? Oh, they redid their UI. Man, it's uh, wow. Damn. Looks pretty good though. Oh, what is that sound, dude? Yo, sounds are crazy. So, loading in, connecting, good. That's what we like to see. Uh, we also need to fix our admin stuff. Um, I just don't have a FX manifest in here, so nothing starts. <laughs> but I need to get that to uh, actually start. <laughs> so there won't be a video on that, but it'll just be added in. And then uh, we're going to have to redo our chat system, which I sort of want to bring in the old chat. I think it was better. Uh, so we'll just select John Doe real quick. Go to Harmony. And value source. We'll just screenshot that. We're not really looking for this, but we'll do test. Where to pop up? Did it pop up? Oh, wait, we got to restart. So ensure uh, MP elements. Everything saved on this end. If I type in test here. Dude, I always I always think it's actually because my display is messed up. Hold on. Wait. No, that's right. Where's like oh no, where's like actual resolution? Is this gonna fuck me? Oh, you guys can still see, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, I did not see anything pop up, but reference error on 52. So reference error on 52. Oh. Item dot text. I forgot about that. Oh no, that should work though. Unless we're doing the wrong text equals message. No, that should be right, right? Item dot text equals message. Oh, uh, do, do, do let's see, let's see. So, let me do this. So, item.text equals message. That should be fine here. Oh, you know what it is? I'm dumb. Our data equals our event.data, not our item. Um, so, I guess what we could do in here, we could add another thing, or we could just change we could just change all these to data. And then this should possibly 
fix this. And we get uncaught on 55. Where's 55? Uh, color, color, data, color, color. I believe that was right though. Color, just right here. On 55. On data.color. Uh, 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 let's just double check, make sure everything's good here. Um, Should be fine. Why is this not doing anything here? On 55, is it because of this element? No, that's not right. We got div ID color. Yes, that's right. Wait, div ID color. No, oh, that's right. This is the item, so item color, correct. Does the other command work in here? We got player cache, let's see. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, font face is fine. Um, Nodi background, wrap div, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go back into our script and just double check everything. Change all this. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, hold on. Do it one more time. None is not defined. I gotta read, dude. None is not defined because it's a fucking element, dude. I'm stupid as hell. I, I need to read this stuff, man. Uh, so let's ensure test. Where'd it? It should be here. Just where? Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's on the top, but like barely. Um. So, do, do, do. you guys could see it, watch. It's gonna land like almost right by the, oh, it's in the cloud. So we're gonna have to get the background to work because it doesn't seem like it is, but you see what I mean? It's on the top for some reason, uh, which is fine. Let's just get this background to work, but we should make a, we're gonna make a, another video for the solving of the errors here. Uh, just because this one's 18 minutes long, I don't want to fucking bore you guys to death. Uh, there's a little of me just sort of fucking around and not reading what's wrong with the actual script. But uh, we'll be back with the next one probably a little bit sooner. We might. I'm going to try getting three, uh, three done this week.